Hi, my name is Jay Curtis. I'm the Vice President of Operations at Cormium Labs. First one to arrive here at 5 a.m. the day after the hurricane. Saw our four-ton AC unit ripped off the roof entirely in the parking lot, uh, trees down everywhere. I knew that it was about to be bad. I was scared to even come here. The shipping and receiving area flooded a lot. You could see the sun through the roof. I mean, my first thoughts were, is it safe for any employees to return? Second thoughts was, could we compliantly run samples? My name is Matthew Tyler. I'm a senior lab tech at Cormium Laboratory. For Hurricane Ida, I evacuated four hours away to my hometown on the other side of the state bring some gas if there was any available because there was none available here in the vicinity. My car smells like fumes now. I had to go 200 miles to get this gas. After assessing the damage, after seeing the building, I kind of learned that the laboratory itself is in good condition. We were still able to keep things within range as far as temperature and humidity was concerned with backup generator power, with sensitive equipment. We wanted to make sure that everything didn't take any chance of failing. So we cut power basically to the rest of the building. We didn't run the AC anywhere else. We couldn't take the chance. Hi, my name is Arthur Krantz. I'm the technical supervisor at Chromium Labs. Challenging part was really monitoring our power consumption. Even though we did have the generator to keep everything running, we were all very paranoid about the generator failing at any point. So making sure that all fridges and freezers kept running. So unfortunately, it's something with the way the AC went off it also kind of took out our lights in the lab. So we had to run on our little makeshift lights that we had made so we could have light in there. That was a really exciting time, especially at night, because uh, you've never really seen the city until the entire power grid's down and you're the only light in the area. Hi, my name is Ilani Graffinini. I'm lab operations and quality manager here at Chromium Labs. Everyone here kind of forgot about food. Um, so the only way we could make food was what we had in our break rooms and candles. So I made meals using only candles for everyone. I was working and sessioning, uh, scanning the tubes, sessioning the patient samples in, and we had the doors wide open because uh, it was really hot in the building. And then all of a sudden I saw someone shoot through the corner of my eye. And all of a sudden I saw someone shoot through the corner of my eye. So when I looked, I saw a baby kitten. The cat was covered in fleas. It was also malnourished and it also had butt worms. We felt really terrible for him, so we rescued him and brought him in, gave him a bath in the janitor's sink. We kind of adopted our lab mascot, Cat. I, uh, I also adopted a cute kitten that wandered into the lab, so if I had to weigh him out, the kitten might be the best part. I love that cat. I bring it back, back to the shoe. We had several employees refuse to evacuate. They wanted to make sure that Cormium was okay, putting their own safety at risk without being asked. Continuing to work and come in every day, even though they didn't have electricity, that they were cooking on candles, that some of them didn't have water, that every night they tried to sleep, it was over 100 degrees. And every day, they were still that committed to this company and the patients that we provide for, knowing that if we could make it through this, we could make it through anything.